When we talk about AI-enhanced malware, what we mean is um, malicious software that actually uses AI machine learning to adapt on its own. It helps it evade defenses, optimize attacks, all in real time. It's not static anymore. Right, learns. Precisely. And AI-powered ransomware, that's, well, a particularly nasty subset, it uses AI for smarter target selection, figuring out which data is most valuable to encrypt. It can automate the whole exploitation process, even handle ransom negotiations with bots sometimes. It's a big jump in complexity. That was quite something. Okay, let's unpack this a bit. What are the core capabilities, the things that give these AI attacks such an edge? Yeah, there are a few key things making them so formidable. First up is uh, adaptive polymorphic code. Okay. This means the malware uses AI to constantly mutate its code, like in really complex ways. It looks different each time it infects something. So standard signature detection. Pretty much useless, yeah. Forces a complete rethink. Right. Then you've got automated vulnerability scanning. AI malware scans networks for weaknesses, you know, automatically. Cuts down compromise time dramatically. We're talking minutes sometimes. Wow, okay. And evasion of detection. Machine learning helps the malware act like normal system behavior, blend in. So it hides better. Exactly. Bypasses security analytics looking for odd stuff. For ransomware, target prioritization is a big one. AI can analyze user activity, see what files you use most, and encrypt just those really valuable ones. Maximizing the pain, basically. Precisely. Maximum leverage. And finally, some ransomware groups are even using automated negotiation bots. They talk to victims 24-7, adjust demands based on what they think the victim can pay. No human needed on their end. Okay, these capabilities sound incredibly powerful, almost mm. theoretical. But you're saying this is happening now. What does it look like in the wild? Any specific examples? Oh, absolutely. It's very real. A key example from 2023 was WormGPT. It's an LLM, a large language model, reportedly sold on dark web forums. Okay. Its purpose was basically to help criminals write really convincing phishing emails and malware scripts. It um, massively lowered the bar for entry into sophisticated cybercrime. Like giving anyone an expert hacker partner? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Then there's Black Cat or ALPHV, ransomware. They're known for allegedly using AI-like automation, helps them rapidly find high-value targets, adapt their ransomware, they've hit critical sectors, hard healthcare, energy, multi-million dollar demands. Ouch. Critical infrastructure. Exactly. And Lockbit 3.0, another big one, ransomware as a service. They use automation, maybe AI-like scripting to streamline attacks, customize ransom notes, coordinate globally. They update fast, hard to analyze. Just staying ahead of the game. Definitely. And remember DeepLocker, that IBM research proof of concept from 2018? Vaguely, yeah. AI-powered malware that stays hidden, dormant until it detects a specific target. Uses facial recognition, geolocation. Wait, so it could sit on a system for years and only activate when it sees, say, my face. That's the terrifying potential, yes. Highly concealed, precisely triggered. And we're also seeing trends now with AI-assisted botnets. Using machine learning to make DDoS attacks smarter, bypass blocks, coordinate better. Okay, so bringing this all together, what does this new era really mean for you, know, for you watching this? Why are these AI attacks so effective and what are the actual consequences? Well, their effectiveness comes down to speed, precision, and stealth, just unparalleled. AI accelerates everything, finding targets, deploying malware, spreading it way faster than humans. And a stealth aspect. Makes them incredibly hard to spot with old tools, the code changes, the behavior mimicry. But maybe the scariest part is the scalability. One AI campaign can launch thousands of tailored attacks at once. Overwhelming defenses. Completely. And that intelligent targeting we talked about going after critical files or systems, that maximizes the impact, leads to bigger ransom demands, unfortunately. The consequences are serious. Huge risk to critical infrastructure. Think hospitals, power grids. Real world disruption is a very real possibility. It seems crystal clear then. AI is fundamentally changing the game in cyber threats. Attackers are faster, smarter, quieter. They really are. And as they leverage AI like this, the bottom line is defenders have to invest in equally intelligent security. We need solutions that can keep pace, which, you know, raises a pretty important question for all of us. If AI's strength is this rapid, autonomous learning, does it mean the age of purely human-led, reactive cybersecurity is over? And what does that really demand from us next? Something to think about.